How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Tacoma Beach channel where as you all know, it's all about the taco. Today we're in the Las Vegas Convention Center and I'm going to be showing you the top three Tacomas at SEMA this year. Let's get started. Hey Tacoma Beach, this is Kevin Bradley and this is my 2010 Toyota Tacoma. So front bumper is all pro. We integrated some Baja designs into it. Warren Industry 8,000 pound winch with the ultra hook from Factor 55. As we changed out the whole front end and did a 2015 end swap on it. Coordinated and got a TRD Pro grill to go on it, Alpha X headlights for the 12 to 15 model. And we also got a hood for it. We integrated lights into it. These are custom fenders made by Southern Off-Road Specialists in Georgia. There's only two known sets. There's one on the second gen, which is this one, and the third gen, which is owned by Fab Fours. Uh, the sloth build that you've covered. So normally, you know, you don't see Tacomas with solid axles. What do you have down there? So this is a Curry 9 inch. Uh, internal is a 543 gear, ARB lockers, 40 spine internal axle shafts, uh, disc brake. We also have the King 12 inch 2.5 coilover setup. Dude, this guy has so many lights everywhere. So guys, look at these massive LP6s in the back. Look at the rock lights up there. What's this antenna right here, dude? So this is a GME uh, radio antenna for GMRS radios. So I have a, a Midland MXT 500 in the truck. Now I see you have your hood pop. What do you have in there? So this truck is supercharged, Magnuson supercharged, has a pulley tune. Uh, it has the works done to it, dual battery, air compressor from ARB, the whole line done to it. Now if some, there's a lot of people out there that are like, man, is the Magnuson worth it? Uh, from experience and your advice to uh, people out there, do you like the Maggie on the Tacoma? I love the Magnuson. It was enough power for me to get out of the way on the highway. Also have the torque again. Uh, with how heavy this truck is, it was well needed. Uh, other way you could go is by LS swapping it or doing a bigger motor. But for me, I didn't want the Christmas tree. I didn't want to change the, the look of the dash. And I wanted to keep this year of a 2010 Toyota Tacoma. This is actually made for a Toyota Helix. They didn't have a snorkel back in the day when I ordered one. And then, literally a week later after SEMA, they made a second gen one. So this is actually made for a Helix. Dude, that is so sick. Yeah. Oh man, look at this interior, fellas. All right, so before we move to the back, let's geek out on the interior. I know you've done a lot to it so also. So the interior, we have the Kenwood Exelon head unit. We have a custom shifter for the automatic transmission. And then right next to it is our Atlas four speed. We have trailer brakes right in front of it. And those three switches right there are for the lockers, air and then rear and front locker. Up top, you'll see that I cut the sun visor or the sunglass holder and put my S-Pod unit into there. Dude, that so is so sick. You can actually open it up still and check all the fuses and make sure everything's still running correctly. I just installed the Rover Lab dome light, which is 3D printed, allowing you to use Baja designs lights and you can choose any color that you prefer. I went with red for eyesight and seeing during the night. So are you set on red only or can you use? That is set on only red, but the rear in the, in the truck is white or red. So this is specifically just red. It's good on the eyes for me personally, because I have an eye disease and that, that helps me. So okay. Fuck yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, the windshield is tinted with ultra vision going with the eye condition. Uh, it has a red chameleon tint on it. Dude, Held I didn't out. know you could do that. That's amazing. Yeah, so you have to have a you have to have a doctor's note and the surgery to prove all that. And so that's what I did in the state of Tennessee. And so that's what I do there. Um, we have a custom, full custom so sound system. So we replaced every speaker, tweeter, and even added some all around the vehicle. And then what about that roof rack? So the roof rack is actually a, for a four-door Tacoma that I actually bought from All Pro Off-Road off of Brownie, which is so cool. But I took that. Dude, and, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I, so I had two iterations of the truck. You might've seen it when the truck had an airy shell, uh, shell on the back, a Z-Series. Um, I took that off and then put the GFC on it. So what I had to do was shorten it again and make it fit perfectly to the car. So this is actually off of All Pro's rig Brownie, if anyone remembers that. Um, and now it's fitted to my truck. So I've had it the whole time. It's been awesome. Dude, that is so sick. Yeah, right? a lot of cool history behind this. Walking around, we have the Rigid Industries light bar, Rigid Industries ditch lights. This truck has 10 Rigid underglow 
Oh, you're set up when it comes to rock lights. Yes, sir. You need to be able to see at night what you're working on in case something breaks. I've had brake lines tear on me and bust. So you got to make sure you're prepared for the worst and hope for the best. That's that's how I live. And then in here, this is where the Midland MXT 500 comes into play with the GME 6.1 decibel uh, antenna. Uh, right next to it, that is my gauge for the dual battery system. Right in here, this controls the air ride in the back in case you need to up it or let it lower. No way, dude. Damn, that's a nice freaking remote. Yes, sir. So you just leave it in there. And then also where this is a custom sound system, the whole nine, this is your bass knob and it allows you to control the bass. Here we have official trail gear sliders. We have a custom rear box, two 12s uh, with storage, allowing you to put your guns in there, whatever you need to. Also it has protection on it where you can put your dogs, whatever you need to do. Uh, what do you have in the back? I see there's a lot going on back here. This is all custom made, right? Yes, sir. So this was all done by Southern Off-Road Specialists in Georgia. So what we did was the shock hoop. We did a 14 inch 2.5 King Coral over on this. Uh, we also added air ride suspension that actually is allowed to come out of the cup and not tear the bag when you're off-roading. So you can tow this thing and then be able to wheel it without messing up what you've, you've done and made right here. So that's a big perk with this air ride suspension. Now I've always wondered with bags, do you have a stiff ride? No, you can set it. You can set it how much PSI you want on there. Uh, you can make it as rough as you need to. Usually you would bump up the air if you're towing something or you got a heavy load in the back. So you keep it kind of soft. That's how I usually run it. We've also have a custom sway bar for the rear. No sway bar on the front. You can store it up in this position right here with this tab, just with the Velcro strap, allowing it to swing down. Pulling these up and allowing you to clip it into there. But since we're flexed out right now, can't use it. What uh, rear bumper do you have? So this is a Brute Force Fab bumper from California. This is custom made and was shortened about six inches. And this actually gave us the point of which where we need to figure out how these fenders were going to sit onto there and how high we could go with the bumper to get a high clearance on it. What uh, camper do you have on it? So this is a go fast camper, a GFC. This is a six and a half foot bed, the Axis Cab long bed. Uh, also on the rear, we're running the Alpha Rex Lux tail lights from them. So I, I try to build this out as light as possible, but I want all the necessities that you may need when you're going camping. So we have the jack, fire extinguisher, heater, tools, med kit, all the fluids, water, airing up, airing down, everything that you may need in case you're on the on the trail and you may break down. Hell yeah, dude. How do you like that power tank right there? It's a game changer. If you pair that with the monster valve, you will air down and air up within probably two minutes if you were to go down and back up. We didn't go over your, your, the tire, this tires you're rocking, right? What right. size tires do you have? So the truck's sitting on 40, 13, 50, 17s. They're on a, a Rock Monster, a Hutchison Rock Monster bead locks, a tri-piece. So there's a front, a back, and a center lock. So you can run these tires down to zero PSI and it will still hold on the tire. Dude, that is have, insane. You don't have to worry about it. And then with the power tank, I mean, they just inflate it like no problem. Absolutely. You can just grab that gauge right there and the monster valve you can see on this right here will allow you to air down in less than a minute and air back up in one minute. So here is where your infill is. Here is where you put a gauge. And he's got 40 inch tire guys. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's insane. Yes, sir. And what else do you have back here? So we've done, we've integrated lights into this. We've added some bags to it up top too, lights too, all the molly panel, backwoods molly panel was actually not meant for this truck, but I got it to make it work. Uh, axe shovel, um, and a little Easter egg for you guys is my truck up there at RC form, one tenth scale, with the same axle shocks, the whole nine. And so here, Brute Force Fab, one option you can do is adding your, your tailgate, so you can put it up and down, your propane is right here. You put your stove here and you have an easy hookup. Whip it up right here in the kitchen and then you're up and go to bed. So rear axle is Trust F9 Curry Axle. We have 14 inch coilovers rear with the air ride and it is three link. Personally built this truck for Moab. I was born in Colorado, live in Tennessee now. 
Um, but Utah is the place I want to go. That is the dream to do. This is my dream being here at SEMA. I'm so grateful for this. Uh, I, I want to thank everyone who helped me put hands on this vehicle and helped me create this vision I had in my mind since I was 16. And I, you know, I'm so thankful for everything. Fuck yeah, Kevin, you're so rad, dude. I'm so happy that uh, we managed to make this happen. And yes, sir. I look forward to one day being able to go out on the trails with you. And dude, let me know when you go to Moab. I would love to try to see if I can make it happen too. Absolutely. I'd love to wheel with you. It'd Hell be great. yeah, dude. Yeah, that would be rad, fun. man. Thank you. Yeah, man. Take care. All right, Kevin, before we go, can you please turn her on? I want to hear this Magnuson Supercharger. Yes, sir. I heard sir. you have uh, an exhaust. Yes, sir. We have a custom Magnaflow exhaust on this. Custom, baby. He's all about the custom life. Let's hear her roar. Let me hear that Magnuson. <laughs> Kevin, thank you so much. I gotta go before you get in trouble and I get in trouble for doing that. Let's go on to the next build. What's going on Tacoma Beast? My name is Ryan and this is my 2019 Toyota Tacoma Off-Road. Dude, I've been following you for such a long time, man. You're an incredible photographer. Thank you. And you built yourself an insane, super clean looking Tacoma. Uh, let's start from the front and work our way all the way to the back. Man. Sure. What uh, like, uh, front bumper is that? Yeah, this is a Saints Off-Road front bumper. It's originally a prototype and it was uh, created and now in production. It's a, a Saints Off-Road Alpha bumper. I kept the OEM headlight. I like to keep the OEM plus look. But I did Dude, modify I noticed it. you got a little bit, uh, you yeah. got super fancy, man. What's, yeah. what's that? I added a, a Baja Designs S1. So just keep it a little unique, but also keep it a little different, set myself apart from the crowd. Hell yeah, man. What about for your grill? I see this is an aftermarket grill. Yeah, this is an aftermarket grill. It's a little blend of the new uh, Tundra and Sequoia look. Uh, with the bumper, I do have a winch uh, paired with a Factor 55 lead uh, and the Ultra Hook as well. So that is uh, set up there just in case I get stuck when I go off off-roading and whatnot. Man. What about for your roof rack? I see you have some lights up there. Are those LP? Those are LP4s, LP4s? yeah. LP4s? LP4s uh, paired with uh, the front runner rack, the slimline rack, has all the accessories on there and everything that I needed. So anytime I go off road, uh, front runner has me covered with all my accessories and whatnot. Let me ask you this, dude. How do you like that rack compared to you all know, the other ones that are out there? To be honest, I had a competitor rack on there. Um, but when I switched to front runner, uh, all the accessories I needed, it made it so much easier to, to get what I need. Uh, awnings, um, uh, storage units, anything on there, water containers, everything. It just mounts right up. They have every accessory that you need and it just mounts right on. All right, Ryan, uh, let's move on to the back. Yeah, Those definitely. are new sliders. I have These are definitely new. That. So these sliders are actually same off-road as well. They're also a prototype. Uh, but the one thing that is unique about these sliders is underneath is a aluminum plate and they're replaceable. So if you bang them up, or if you scuff them or whatnot, you can take off this plate and get a brand new one and get it replaced. Dude, this is really clean. Yeah. So it's an actual slider. It's, it's an actual a slider. Stuff. It's bolted on. Um, there's a small little kick out on the side, but it keeps it sleek, unique. Like I said, I like to keep the OEM plus look on the truck, not oh, yeah. to stand out too much. Let's move on to the back. What, sure. uh, what rack is that? Uh, this is also a Saints Off-Road uh, prototype. Uh, this is a Tango rack. Uh, but now it's also in production, so it's pretty unique. Uh, in the back there is a set of spoilers, but there are seven Baja lights on here, so you don't run a little lean on Baja lights. Everything on the truck is Baja lights, so. Um, but yeah, it definitely has that spoiler. Connects my RTT on the top. You can add on any accessories that you need to on, on the rack. Sweet, man. What tire size and wheels are you rocking? Uh, right now I have a custom set of Falcon TX1 Apollos. I had them custom beadlocked with uh, OMF. Uh, this tire size is a 35 by 12 and a half by 17 uh, Toyo tires. It's the new um, RT Trail. What are you rocking for suspension? suspension. I just peeked in there and that looks good. Yeah, man. So, you got some candy. Um, definitely. Uh, I redid my suspension. I originally had Kings 2.0 or 2.5s, um, but then uh, as I went out more, I needed a little more travel and also a little more cushion. Um, I had my buddy Welds Taco fabricate this bed hoop here. Um, it's one of a kind also. Um, he had it fabricated from scratch. Uh, this is basically a 12 inch triple bypass king shock uh, with an external finned reservoir. So you, you said it's, it's got a whole bed cage. It has a whole bed cage. It's supported so that way there's no bowing or um, anything like that with the, with the hoop that was created for the back. 
so. Dude, that's clean. Are yeah. those 2.5s or 3.0s? Uh, those are 3.0s along with the front. I went the front, I went with 3.0s also. Oh, dude, with you the, got some beef? In some beef in the front, yeah. So uh, the front is just an internal bypass. I didn't go with the external just because uh, I didn't want to deal with the maintenance and whatnot. Did you always have the 3.0s or you, I think you said No, you I had, had the 2.5s to begin what with. What made you want to upgrade? Uh, I went with the whole rear, I did the uh, whole suspension upgrade. So um, a little more travel, a little more cushion, a little more tunability. So that way it fits the need that I need when I go out, uh, either if I go on the whoops, uh, Anza Borrego here, uh, Big Bear or any type of camping. Usually the tunability is there. So. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, man, that's a sweet, uh, sweet rear setup. What did you do for your leaf springs? Uh, these are the Dobinsons, the medium pack. Uh, they're loaded for 600 constant uh, weight. Uh, paired with that, I had the DRT shackle and um, hanger kit as well. Sweet, man. Before we move to the front suspension, because you got me stoked on that, what rear bumper is that? I've never seen oh, okay. that before. So this rear bumper is Relentless, relentless Fabrication. Uh, it doesn't come with a dual swing out. So I had my other buddy, um, my action, my same buddy, Wells Stocko. Uh, he helped me create a dual swing out for the rear. Um, and then I added the bash bars on the side as well. A little unique, it kind of is bent here just like a slider ha would have. It would be like a little kick out, but it also matches the flow with the bumper. Sick, man. I love this sticker. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's rad, man. Did you do anything for your tail lights? Uh, these are the Miso Customs uh, tail lights, the sequential. Hell yeah. Get out of the way dude, aren't those yeah. so sweet? Dude, they're, they're so nice. That's like probably the number one thing that people say when they drive behind me is like, yo, your tail lights, they, they look pretty nice. I'm like, hell yeah. yeah. Dude, they're so clean. Yeah. Dude, so what do you have for suspension up in the front? So in the front, I went with a 3.0 internal bypass as well. I have Dirt King uppers and lowers. Um, and then for my, uh, for the whole setup, uh, I went with Dirt King everything. So uh, Dirt King gussets. Stock length, right? Stock but length, correct. Uh, if you look at the Dirt King lowers, they also have that aluminum plate, so it matches nicely with the sliders. So it looks pretty nice there. Why did you go, why did you stick to stock lengths and not do like a long travel? So the reason why I didn't want to do long travel is just basically maintenance is uh, the biggest one. But I also wanted to keep the, stock, the same base of the truck. Uh, if I went long travel, I would be extending about two, uh, two inches, two and a half around there. I would need uh, new axles as well. But I wanted to keep everything uh, as close to OEM spec. Uh, just that way I can just keep the whole truck and the geometry there. Hell yeah, that's sick man. That's, that's, uh, that's a good, that's a good uh, way to go about it. Yeah. What do you have for brakes? I see that yeah. red shiny caliper <laughs> right there, man. It's so uh, my buddy Tom at SOS Performance, uh, he created a kit for the Tacoma. Uh, this is a six piston stop tech kit. It's running a three, I want to say it's a 304 millimeter brake disc. Uh, one of the biggest brake kits you can stuff in a 17 inch rim. Dude, so I know you're an off-roader. I know you go out there. I know you you enjoy the outdoors. Did you used to have a tent in your in your truck, or, or how do you camp? So I have a eye camper, RTT. Um, I usually just put it on whenever I head out. Uh, but usually when it's a one night trip or something like that, I just stick to my ground tent, uh, my Gazelle T4. It's easy setup, easy breakdown. But when I have my family with me, uh, the eye camper is the way to go. Easy setup, less than 90 seconds. Uh, it's up, running to go. My son loves it, so. All right, so this interior here, uh, we have the PRP seats. These were also uh, one of the prototypes uh, before they created the, the seat covers for this coma. I know you have a set as well. Dude, they're um, awesome. You like them, right? Yeah, so right now I have a, it's a two-tone here with the suede centers. Um, I have the Teton Workshop shift knob. Uh, me and Colton worked together. We created a special shift knob. Uh, it's personalized by myself. It is a so stoked edition. It has a topo on there with my logo Hell as well. Yeah, sick, dude. yeah so. Um, that's about it. I have a forged carbon uh, steering wheel as well. And then I have the Taco Garage DDM kit uh, that holds all my accessories, my walkie talkies, my camera, my phone, does all its charging and whatnot. Also, I have the Midland radio for all my comms if I need to do anything uh, or, or reach out to all my buddies on, hey, camp is, you know, if the camp locations change or whatnot, you, want, you can go ahead and communicate that way. Rad, dude. I see you have like a gauge on the other side, or what is that Definitely. monitor? Uh, that monitor temp me uh, measures temperature. One of the weakest points in our in our truck is the temps for our transmission and our uh, converter, uh, transmission converter, or tor sorry, torque converter. Uh, that helps you monitor uh, that temperature there. Everything. Before I let you go, Ryan, yeah. uh, dude, if you could recommend anything to anyone that's just starting out, they're just getting into the hobby, Definitely. right? Yep. What would it be? Uh, ask, ask a lot of questions. A lot of the stuff on this truck uh, I did one time, and I ended up redoing it just because uh, everyone on the internet was saying, oh yeah, just do this or do that. Ask questions, figure out what you need, 
and figure out if it suits your style of driving. So guys, I love the advice that Ryan gave you guys. Make sure to ask around. You always have us, support at TacomaBees.com. You can also reach out to Ryan. Ryan, where can they reach you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at so Stoke. Thanks again, Tacoma Beast. Thank you for checking out the truck. I appreciate your time. But until next time, I'm out. All right, guys, I'm here with Josh and it's 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road. I cannot wait to show you guys this truck. What's up, Tacoma Beast? My name is Josh, the Dark Yoda on social media. Let's dive into my truck. So front bumper is the new C4 Rock Runner series. It's their new lightweight, high angle approach, uh, new armor series. They offer in the front and the rear. We just put this on and I did something a little bit different. Some of you might not agree with it. Instead of doing powder coat on my new armor, I did steal it. Now, reason being, touch up is way easier and it always matches. So headlights right now are Morimoto. Uh, so Morimoto front and rear. They are the amber DRLs, the, uh, the V2s. Uh, other lighting on the truck is gonna be diode dynamics. I've got 14 SS3 Pros up on the Sherpa roof rack, obviously with the backlighting, but I've got it wired by Mitchell Blaze Off-Road to be dual function. So I can control the outer six amber pods or the inner eight white pods, or just run all 14 at one time. Hell yeah, um, damn, that's legit. Yeah. And is that like the backlight right now that's on? Like it's not really blinding anyone, right? Exactly. So this is all the backlighting. So all the backlighting matches. Um, the rock lights are doing their party down under here, showing off suspension and big brakes and all that fun stuff. But yeah, all the off-road lighting on the truck is all diode dynamics. Dude, I see you have way uh, wider fenders. What are you rocking? So these guys are the ADV uh, fiberglass fenders. We have them up front and we have the bedsides on as well. I was actually really surprised with how well these fit out of the box. Everybody says fiberglass sucks, don't do it. You're gonna have to wanna do a shop, do it. Now I had a shop do it for the fronts and they were like, yeah, these actually fit really well. There was minimal trimming, the holes lined up, like it was, it went on really, really nicely. Hell yeah, dude, they look clean, man. Really clean install. Dude, I wanna go all the way to the back to check out your suspension, but before we do that, what do you have underneath the engine bay? So there's, there's a lot of bits going on under here. Um, to start, we've got full throttle batteries uh, with SDHQ's dual battery system. All of it's powered by the Garmin power switches. And I went, I've done power or um, switch pros, I've done trigger. This has been my favorite system so far, just because there's no wires to the firewall. You give it power, you give it ground, run all your accessories to it. You can power these and control these from your phone your iPad, the Garmin tablets, or even now it's integrated with Apple CarPlay, which is really nice. Um, Damn, that's sweet. Yeah, it's awesome, man. And then if you look over here to the real eye catcher, that's oh, gonna be- Oh man. That's gonna be the new Harrop supercharger for the third gen Tacomas. Um, all you fifth gen forerunners, keep an eye out, they're coming out with the kit for you as well. Baseline at elevation, so I'm located in Colorado, 6,000 feet elevation. We did a baseline on 35s with beadlocks as you would expect it's not very much horsepower right so we dynoed at 198 horsepower and 220 foot pounds of torque when we did the supercharger we went from that 198 to 275 278 and 220 up to 275. so the truck is completely different now dude how does that feel on the road man uh to have a tacoma that actually wants to scoot it it's awesome i hit 95 on the way here don't tell the cops <laughs> <laughs> I know the I I know for the viewers that maybe we can throw a picture out there. Yeah, your truck was a little bit more of an overland vehicle. Now you're yes. going. What are you going for right now? So now I'm going more lightweight, quicker. So we've dropped a couple hundred pounds on this version of the truck, and we've added a lot of power. In doing that, we've actually put larger tires on. So now we're on 37s. Um, the bed rack and everything will go back on eventually, but when we do that, we're gonna have weight in mind. So we're gonna do a shorter rack, less material, um, and a smaller, lighter tent as well. The truck just drives better with it being lighter. I had the, the C4 hybrid front bumper, which I loved it. Um, I've got C4 skids from the front all the way to the back uh, with their sliders and their rear bumper. And having the spare tire in the bed, the truck just drives better. It's smoother, it's not as bouncy, um, but having the spare tire on a swing out is also nice because it's right there and accessible for you. But yeah, we're going lightweight and more power for this, this new version of the build. Hell yeah, dude. What are you rocking for suspension? So suspension is all locked off road. So 
Dirt King plus three five long travel up front with locked off road kit specific coilovers. Uh, we've got 600 pound springs in it. And then we've got triple bypasses up front as nice. well. Um, now I mentioned the 37s. So I tried to do the 37s as in depth and correctly as I possibly could. So we've got a Solo Motorsports Tundra steering rack with Himes, double shears. The, gus the spindles are all gusseted, cam tabs are all gusseted. We had Crazy Tab do an insane tub in here with bead roll. Dude, that looks clean. It looks, it looks OEM. It, it looks beautiful. That's the, the, the one of the nicest ones I've seen. Yeah, so Holy Crazy shit. Fab in Colorado killed it. Um, and then obviously you've got 110 pounds a corner. You need to stop that weight, right? It's rotational mass. So the brakes are the power brake, big brake kit. I chose red. Uh, I'm from the JDM car scene before I got the truck. I had a bag TL, so flashy. What about your wheels? So the wheels, these are brand new. These are debuting here at SEMA. These are FXH and that stands for Forge Line and Harup. So Harup and Forge Line basically partnered up and designed this wheel. Now it's a 17 by nine, negative 12 offset. Each wheel weighs 30.8 pounds with the beadlock ring and the hardware, but it has a load rating of 4,000 pounds. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's intense. It's a beefy wheel, huh? Yeah. Dude, that's sweet, man. So you got a nice uh, setup up in the front. That like that thing looks like a lot of fun. And with the supercharger, I mean, oh yeah, you're having fun. I out want there. to wheel it so badly. <laughs> oh, you haven't wheeled it since you built it yet. I haven't wheeled it, so I literally finished this thing two days before I drove from Colorado to Vegas for SEMA. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, dude. And when I get home, there's a bunch I have to do as well. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you rocking for uh, sliders? Sliders are C4. And the reason I did C4 is because they're the only one that really offers a high angle skid that actually has a step integrated on it as well. My, my thought process was, hey, we just got a puppy. This was years ago. We just got a puppy. I don't want them to jump out of the truck, leg go through the hoop and cause any accidents, right? So we got the steps on here for specifically the dogs, but these things have been absolutely indestructible. Um, what are you uh, rocking in the rear suspension? So rear right now is a 14 inch uh, locked off road, smooth body shock, 22 click adjuster, archive relocation kit, and then the locked off road hydro bump stop kit. We've got the new all pro uh, Expedition 2.0 leaf packs with a U-bolt flip, and then DRT hangers with their crossbar as well to kind of keep the rear end planted on washboard roads, going fast. Um, yeah, the truck drives really, really nice. Hell yeah, dude. What a, is that the new C4 Rock Runner rear? This is so. This is the new C4 Rock Runner uh, rear bumper. Now the cool thing about this bumper, it doesn't matter if you're a tube guy, if you're a plate guy, you can do whatever you want. If you want to try a tube style and you're like, yeah, you know what, not for me. Cool. Remove two bolts, two nuts, put a plated style on, and you have a whole new looking bumper. It's also a lot cheaper to ship, from what I've heard, because it's going to be all like in pieces. It's less than half the box. cost to ship. So. What C4 does, because I mean, they're for the people, they're for you guys. They save money on shipping and that goes straight back into your pockets when pricing and everything comes out for this bumper. This will be released Black Friday. Hell yeah, dude. That is sweet, man. Let's talk about your wrap real quick. Um, this is new, right? This is new. So How did you get that wrap done? So I work very closely with Jake over at Lucid Wraps in Denver. Um, he has a designer, her name is Alexis. I told her, I want a camo but I want it to be dark, obviously being the dark Yoda. Um, I want it to be dark. I want it to be, you know, colors that not everybody has. So I wanted to incorporate this kind of army green into the dark blacks and the grays. And then if you look closely, we can find one here in a little bit, but the mountains from my logo are actually hidden in the wrap. Oh, so, wow. So yeah, this will only be available through me at my website. Um, but yeah, and it's little details that Jake does like over here like textured wrapped handles, textured wrapped pillars. It's up on top of the fiberglass up here. And then also around the headlights as well. Just little details that Jake thought would make it kind of stand out more and not be just one solid thing. And then we wrap the visors, the camo as well. That is sick, man. Moving on to the back before I forget, uh, I did notice your taillights were off the market. What, yeah. uh, what taillights are those? So these are the Morimoto Miso Customs uh, tail lights, they're stupid bright. 
by far the brightest brake light, reverse light I've seen so far. They look awesome too, man. I like that light, uh, like so those clean. little C's up there. Yeah, I love that they like almost brought like JDM into the off-road scene. I think they're they're awesome. We've got Corbo Trailcat seats, Suma Performance Carbon Fiber Steering Wheel, Scan Gauge. So when you guys do all these modifications to your truck, you make it heavier, you're doing bigger tires, you wanna be able to monitor your transmission, your coolant, your oil temps, and Scan Gauge is a really, really easy way to do that. You can customize each one of your three screens to be certain things, so if you're like, hey, everyday driving, I don't need to monitor every little thing. But on a, on a road trip, you might be like, hey, I wanna monitor these extra temperatures. You can do that with that system there. Um, we've got the Expedition Essentials T-PAM up there with how, my- How much do you like that? Isn't that like I love essential that to, to the like, Tacomas? Yeah, I love that thing. So I've got my Midland radio on there. I've got my Quadlock wireless charger on there. Uh, my Garmin tread on there. And then obviously you've got the two USB-A ports. So if you're a passenger, it's like, oh man, I forgot to charge my phone. Boom, my phone's charging, your phone's charging. We're having a great time. So we've got fridge in the back and then the full goose gear seat delete. Did this again for my pups. So with the goose gear seat delete, it gave them a lot more room in the back of the truck. So it lowers, if you were to fold your seat, like you guys have OEM rear seat, if you fold it down, it sits about here. So this drops it way down and pushes it way back for them to have a lot more room. Now I will be doing the car seat mod for my new daughter here soon, putting the seat back in and a car seat in and we'll see what we do for that. Maybe, maybe some JDM stuff with harnesses and all that, but. Hell yeah, dude. And then for your roof rack? Roof rack is Sherpa. So another local Colorado company been working with them for a little bit here. Uh, if you guys have been following the build for, for any amount of time, it was the powder coated black version of it. But when we did the machined wheels, I figured the raw rack would kind of bring everything together. And I love the way it looks now. Hell yeah, Josh, anything that I might have missed? I think and that Yukon 529 gears, obviously when the truck was heavy, we've got a deck system in the back. Um, Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the extrusion overland bed rack back on the truck. One of my favorite features of the back of the truck is that rack because what we did with Mitchell Blaze Off Road is made a custom chase harness out of pods. So the diode SSC1Rs has a dim brake light as a running light and then a bright brake light as well as a reverse light. So we integrate that into the Morimoto brake lights. So when I'm on a trail, I can turn those on. And if somebody can't see my tail lights through dust, they're definitely gonna see those pods through dust. Hell yeah, man. If you could give advice to someone that's just getting into this hobby, what would you tell them? Do research and go slow. The quickest mod, the, the lowest lead time is not the way to build a truck. People see lead times and they get turned away and they wanna go with something cheaper or something that they'll get a lot sooner. Get the quality product, wait the amount of time and build the truck once instead of me doing it like five times. Hell yeah, man. That's great advice. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, of course, brother. All right, Tacoma Beast, that is it for my build walk around. I'll see you guys soon. All right, fellas, that about wraps it up for the top three Tacomas at SEMA this year. You guys enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and let me know which truck was your favorite. I'll see you on the next one.